Hello, in this tutorial we're going to go over how to create uh, simple Word documents in Python. So for this uh, tutorial you're going to need to uh, pip install or in PyCharm's case just import the, um, the uh, module called Python Python dash docx um, so you need to import that uh, first and um, but strangely enough you have to uh, in the actual code itself you're going to just do import docx so not python dash doc docx just import docx for your actual code but ensure you've installed python dash docx uh, previously. Uh, so you're going to need to import docx and for this tutorial um, I'm going to also import uh, OS which should already be installed if not pip install that as well. So um, the first thing you want to do whenever you're making a document is define it. So we're going to say that doc equals docx dot document. So there we go, there's our document defined. And we're going to do uh, we're going to write a uh, line of text to it. So we're going to, we're going to um, essentially be uh, creating a, a paragraph here. So we're going to say paragraph paragraph short for paragraph equals doc dot add. So we're using the uh, declared document uh, in the previous line doc dot add underscore paragraph and then we're going to open our um, text and we're going our brackets we're going to put in our text we're going to say hello so uh, once you've written that um, you're going to want to save your document so doc dot save and then at this point you're going to want to give your document a name um, this will be the file name of your document so I'm going to say it's going to be a test.docx file because it is a docx file now the reason why I imported OS is because we can actually make the um, operating system itself um, execute the um, execute a uh, word and automatically open our word document for us so we don't have to uh, start it ourselves so in order to do that simply do os.system start uh, uh, os.system open brackets speech marks um, start test dot docx so now that we've done that we're going to uh, run our um, doc our Python file, and as you can see, Word has uh, started, and our test document has been created, and the word "hello!" exclamation mark has been uh, produced. And uh, as you can see, um, the um, test.docx file was produced in the directory of uh, in the same directory as the script. So now that we've done, uh, we've created our document, um, uh, I'm going to show you what happens whenever you try and run the script again, whenever the document itself is open. So whenever we run this script again with the Word document open, an error occurs. It says permission error, permission denied. That's because you can't edit um you, you can't um, create or edit a Word document when it's opened in the application. So in order to uh, handle that error, you simply just close the application. And now we can run it again. And of course, the same thing happens. So we've done that now. So we're going to go on to how you actually format text. Um, how you... Uh, um, yeah, format text, how you uh, make sentences and uh, bold and 
uh, use italics. So, um, so that hello statement is a paragraph. Um, so we can um, add more text to that uh, paragraph um, using the add run feature. So do par paragraph or whatever you parag whatever your paragraph is defined as. I didn't want to use the word paragraph because that would make the um uh might make it a bit confusing with the uh, use of paragraph and some of the uh, commands here. Um, so paragraph dot add r underscore run. Now you can consider a run as like a sentence. So whenever we say paragraph dot add run, we're saying add sentence really. We're gonna say add sentence, we're saying we're gonna say this word document was created using and do comma space. Okay. Um and then we're going to add another um another um run here run and we're going to say um, python so really it may not be um apt to, to synonymize uh, run with um sentence in actuality um uh, but it's hard to really describe it's sort of like uh, a run is like is, is is a sort of sprint of text, sort of a, a set of text that you're going to uh, be typing, um, not be typing, um, which which follows the same um, the same formatting. Uh, so, for example, um, this code when run will say hello, and then this word document was created using, and then the word Python is going to be in bold. Okay, but we can't put Python in this run statement because if we did that and we wanted Python in bold, we'd have to have everything in bold here. So whenever we run this, we can say we can see that the whole paragraph itself is um, hello. This word document was created using and then Python, which is in bold. Okay, so now that we've shown you how to uh, uh, bold text by using the dot bold um, feature there, uh, we're going to do uh, we're going to define a new uh, paragraph itself, and we're going to say um, italic paragraph. Again, I'm trying to just avoid the word the use of the word paragraph on its own because it does confuse things whenever you have um, uh, whenever you have um, the actual word paragraph being used as a uh, command here so we're gonna we're gonna make a new paragraph so uh, doc dot add par underscore paragraph um, I'm gonna leave these um, uh, brackets blank okay and then we're going to do italic paragraph dot add underscore run. Um, this line is in italics. Okay. So, and we're going to make it italics by doing the exact same thing we did to bold it, except using um, dot italic. And we're going to say that's equal to true. And when we run this, we can see that um, a new paragraph has been taken because uh, this is a, a new paragraph's been defined. So this whole sentence slash paragraph is um, def is the parag uh, paragraph, and this line here is the italic paragraph um, paragraph or line so I know it's quite confusing uh, but hopefully you're sticking with me so you've got the simple basics of how you uh, write a paragraph I'm now going to show you how you can add um, simple titles and headings uh, using this 
library. So uh, we can do we can make a title for our document by doing um, doc dot add 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 not paragraph. We're going to do doc dot add and then do uh, heading and we're going to call this document test doc. Of course, this is going to be the title, and we're going to set the headings level to zero. Um, headings in uh, Word can be um, can range in level from zero to nine, with zero being the most important, uh, biggest title, and the um, nine being the least important. So, um, I'm just going to show you that now. We're going to run this. Oh, I didn't close the file, so we're going to run this again. Um, and as you can see, task doc is our document title here. Um, and if we look at the styles area here, we can see that title, since my cursor's on here, title has been selected for this, um, for that particular paragraph there. Um, okay, so you know how to do a do a title so what about if we add doc dot add underscore heading and we're going to make a um, a heading another heading but we're just gonna call it um, we're just gonna set that heading to level one okay we run that uh, as you can see heading level one is here and as you can see Heading one, this the whole the text here, um, is uh, uh, it's it the the text here is heading one, so obviously heading level two is going to be heading two, so we're just gonna uh prove that. So uh, if we do set that heading level one there, and then just copy and paste that and then put it down here you can see that doc dot add heading level two whenever we run this we can see that heading level one is here and then this is in heading level two so that's that particular um heading that's the that's how the heading system works and then for this particular tutorial I'm going to finish on how to import um, images into your uh, Word document. So import, you're going to have to, you're going to have to import um, something, something important. So uh, do from dot, from doc x dot shared import and then we're going to import inches. Uh, Word uh, uses, um, for its images, it, it, it its unit of measurement is inches. Um, so we're gonna have to import inches. And uh, I, have a I have a sample image here in my directory. So all I have to do is do doc.add underscore picture, okay? And we just supply the uh, name of the file. In this case, it's sample underscore image dot JPEG. And the width, comma width equals inches. I'm going to say we're going to say that's going to be 2.5. Okay, 2.5 inches is good. So whenever we run this again, we can see that we've got our um, image present. So, if we could just go over here, um, you can see that um, you add your heading first. Well, you define the document itself first, and then we added we we made a heading, and that's the first thing that comes up. Then the the paragraph um, hello. And since, since a um, 
a heading can't be in a paragraph. It's its own paragraph. It defaults to the uh, level below. So uh, it's it's quite smart in the way that um, uh, the the word document sorts itself out essentially. So anyway, that should really be somewhere. I don't know. There maybe. Um, just so it's not in the paragraph um, statement. So paragraph, this word document is created using Python, which is in bold. Your heading one, heading two, and then italic paragraph. This line is in italics, and then we finish off with an image. So that's your simple um, uh, use of Python to create a uh, simple word document. Uh, thank you for watching.